Hello everyone, this is Pat from the Arizona Video Company and I had someone re recently ask me about lower thirds and text uh, um, effects in Vegas and so what I did was put together a really quick little clip that included some of those um, effects and I'll show you what we're going to try to make today. Girl not included, but anyway we're going to have lower third pop up and text and then a glint run across there and I'm going to show you how to do all of this in Vegas. Of course, a girl does not come with it. You know, you have to find your own girl. But anyway, so let's get started. We have a blank screen here. You notice this may be a little bit set up a little differently than how you have yours set up, but um, everybody has their own preference. What I want to do is use the Explorer, and I'm going to bring in the girl. And let's go back here to the project media. And this is going to be the base base of our um, operation. I'm going to. I have everything set up, as you can see, for HD. So let's click on my my clip here at the very beginning I'm clicking here I'm right clicking let's make this match the out uh, the aspect of the whole project and whenever you do these things make sure your keyframe is where you want it to be if you have it not in the beginning then you maybe it may be not quite right so everything's looking good there alright what I want to do because I don't want her to be on the very top, the lower third, the lower third is going to be down here, and then text is going to be here. So let's bring this clip down. That will automatically create another. I want to bring this. I'm going to create like four things so I can put some things above it. Um, next, let's go to the media generators. Let's make a color gradient. Or actually, it doesn't need to, it doesn't need to be a color gradient, but let's do it anyway. Bring this down to here and so that we can you know I hate it when it does that let's lift it out of there alright because I want the gradient to be top to bottom put in 90 I want the upper part here I'm going to click on that let's make it a blue so I have that kind of a, a look that's fine <clears throat> on top of this we're going to have text and so let's go into just basic text. I just want this to be pretty simple. Bring this on down. I'm going to bring it here, and I'll show you why in just a second. Let's change the size of this to, say, 45. Let's change the text to, say, Arizona Runner. And that's good. All right. Now let's go to our background text here or to our lower third text I want to click on the composite window and there, there's a number of ways to do this I'm going to click on the beginning here number of ways to do this you can you can size it if I take this off and this off if you can size it down and then you have something that you can move around like this that's one way to do it you can also right click I'm going to restore box or you can I'm going to use the mouse to scroll out click here again and then you can just drop this down it takes forever let's drop it down like this you can drop it down like this so you can and this will make sense in just a moment but since I put a gradient on it let's right click restore the box let's do it that way so you, and this will keep the properties of your whole your whole deal there you can see it here and I want it to pop up to about there I may want the lower third a little bigger just like that okay that looks good okay now and that's at the beginning which is good and then let me let's go up here to the text let's grab this let's go to the placement let's slide this over so we can see what's going on and drop this down to about about there and that'll work Okay, let's click out of here. Now, what I want to do, I'm going to take the text, I'm going to slide the text off to the side. What I want to focus in on, I'm going to scroll, scroll the mouse thing here to get it to stretch out. I want to, I want to make, I want to bring this down. I'm going to click here to get it back into the compositing mode. Make sure you're on position. This guy here. I want to drop it down. And you can use, so big, you can use 
can just grab it and drag it. I tend to use the arrows a lot. Now, I want to focus further into the slide this out of the way. I want to get further into the clip here. Let's say about here. I want to double click. I'm going to put another keyframe in here. This is the window where I can do some work. Now at this point, um, I'm going to make another keyframe and this second keyframe, this this is going to this keyframe here keeps it down below the horizon here. You can't see it. This make sure it's still there and then this is where I want to see movement start to happen. I'm going to click on this and I want to raise this up. Again, I use the arrows a lot. It just keeps everything in the position that I want it. That looks good. Now I'm going to come over here. I'm going to click on click again to make another keyframe and I click again to make another keyframe. All of these are the same. The same position except this one right here, this guy. I'm going to click again. I'm going to come up here, click. I'm going to go I'm going to arrow 1, arrow 2, arrow 3 up. So what you have here is it starts to come up here goes higher and then settles back down you, if you're watching the movement in the preview window. And that just gives it a little, a little, I think a little professional edge there, make it pop up and down. Okay, so it comes up, pop up, and then down. And then it still, still needs to happen a little faster actually. Um, and even this needs to come up. This is where you play and eyeball it and see how you want it to look. So let's take a look and see if that is the same. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I want. Goes up, stays there, and then it's going to stop it here. I'm going to go in, put another keyframe in. I'm going to do similar to what we did before. Keyframe there. Keyframe to make it pop up again. And I'll, I'll show you a neat little trick we can do there. And then keyframe, this is the keyframe that's going to have it go down and out of the way. Let's take care of that now. Again, I use the arrows. It's just me. You may want to just drag it down, which is fine. This guy here, I know it was up about three. So arrow one, arrow two, arrow three. Drop out. Let's take a look. Pop up and down. A little slow if you notice how tight these are. It's going to do something similar here. And then I do a lot of previewing. Something else you can do is um, copy these and just and then paste them over here and position them where you want them. So let's make sure this is right. And it stays up. She's running along and then it goes down. Perfect. That's what I want. Now. Let's bring our text over. The text, I don't, it's, I don't want to show up there. Pops up, down, and then about there is where I want the text to begin to come on. But what I want it to do, you know what I might do is go back in here and position that Arizona runner down just to grab it and then arrow down. That's good. That's what I want. <clears throat> And so let's um, transition it in and I'll, because I want it to be a quick transition, we're going to go to 10. Let's go to transitions. I like to use for this one here, I'm going to use that squeeze option. Right like here, bring it on down, put it in there. I'm not going to mess with any of the settings. Just want to squeeze on, see what it looks like. Yep. And then I want it to squeeze off just before the whole lower third disappears. So we're going to drag this back into here. Again, let's position it to 10 like we did earlier. And let's reverse squeeze it out of there like that. That's good. Good. Let's preview it again make sure that it's doing what we want it to do. Okay. All right. Now... There's a reason why I left this blank down here because I want to add a glint and I'll show you how that works. Let's go to um, Media Generator and let's go with a um, solid color. I'm just going to drag down white 
doesn't matter what color you bring it because I'm going to be changing it anyway. And we're going to line it up with the whole text text thing. All right. Now, that's obviously covering that, so we're going to change it. Click on the text. Go over here to your composite. We're going to make this a mask. Okay. Now, if you notice, this masks this, but then it, we're not seeing anything below it. So what we need to do is make this to be a make this track to be a compositing child and then that makes this affect only the only the parent uh, timeline so now let's slide slide this color in but I want to get I want to get a color in here and what I thought about doing to keep the colors with the um, picture make them kind of harmonize a little bit let's take a copy of her skin to get that kind of a color it's important that whatever color that we're going to be using for the text be darker than white. It needs to be off white and it needs to be off white significantly enough to see um, the effect that we're about to do. Now take this again, right click, copy, up part right there, and paste. Okay, 17 seconds, that's going to be too, not long enough. Let's make this a full second. Let's go to about there. Again, drag this out to the full thing. Now, right in here, click right in the center. Go over here to Transitions, and then we want um, the Push. The Push Transition gives you these neat little guys right here. See this yellow one is what I like to use. I drag this down into the Transition thing. And what you're seeing going on here is the transition is happening through a mask situation. I don't like white, or I'm sorry, I don't like the yellow. So let's get rid of the yellow. And that's going to be pure white. Okay. Or actually, and and also, I want. And you can only see this transition if you're in if it's on the transition window here. And if you want to change the effects, make it smaller or, or the you know the size of the feather. What I I don't want it to be super big, and I don't even want the feather to be. Let's take a look at that. That works. Now let's see the whole little segment there. And off. Okay. So slick. So what we have, girl runs, lower third pops up. There's that. Glint. And then it's off. Now, let's add one more thing here. If you notice, we've got the text here, and that's fine. Looks great. But because it's masked, even if we click on the shadow on the effects, Nothing's going to happen because it's a mat. Wait a minute. That's interesting. It wasn't doing that before. It is doing. Okay, well, never mind. I guess that, that works out. <laughs> before, I had to put another line in there, but some, for some reason, that's working out this time. Anyway, add the shadow. Gives you a little bit more there. Glint runs across. Ta-da. And there you have it. And it looks pretty similar to our, um, our actual example here. And that's what you're looking at. Again, this is Pat from the Arizona Video Company. Hopefully you like this one, uh, this little tutorial. If you do, please subscribe to the channel, and uh, we'll talk with you later. And leave a comment if you liked it or if you want to see more, and I'll see what I can do. Uh, we'll talk with you later. Bye-bye.